Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 10,000. Now this follows on from our previous tutorial of number bonds to 5,000. So let's have a look at the kind of question you're going to see in a test or in, in an exam. We've got 10,000 minus something equals, let's say for example it is 6,423. Now we're going to use the same principles we, we've used before. Let's start with the units. Okay, We've got three units and they have to equal the next possible zero, which is 10. Remember, if you can add, always add, subtracting is a little bit more difficult. So what number added to 3 is going to give us 10? The answer is 7. 3 plus 7 is 10 and we're going to carry 1 over. Okay, moving on to the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have 2. We've actually got 3 because we carried 1 over. And we're trying to get to the next possible zero, which is 10. 3 plus something equals 10. It's the same as before. The answer is 7. 3 plus 7 is 10, so we're carrying 1 over. Now we're doing the hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? We've actually got 5. Remember, we carried 1 over. So what number added to 5 is going to give us the next possible zero, which is 10? 5 plus something equals 10. The answer is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10, so we're carrying 1 over. And lastly, we're going to do the thousands. Look at these two as together, 10 thousands, okay? How many thousands do we have to begin with? We've actually got 7, not 6. Remember, we carried 1 over. So 7 plus something equals 10, the answer is 3. And that is our answer. 10,000 minus 3,577 equals 6,423. It's nice and simple. It looks complicated, but have a practice and you'll soon get the hang of this. Okay, let's do one more. We've got 10,000 minus something equals 8,038. Okay, 8,038. Now the same principles. We start with the units. We've got 8 units. We have to equal 10. So 8 plus something equals 10. The answer is 2. It's nice and easy. 8 plus 2 is 10, so we're going to carry 1 over. Basically what we're saying is, what number added to the 8,038 is going to give us 10,000. Okay, we're now on to the tens. So our target is 0. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have three. We've actually got four because we carried one over. So four plus something equals ten, the next zero. Four plus six equals ten. Okay, four plus six is ten, so let's carry one over. The next one we have is the hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? We don't have zero. We've got one. We carried one over. So one plus something equals ten. One plus... 9 equals 10. 1 plus 9 equals 10, so we're carrying 1 over. Now we're doing the thousands. And look at this as together, 10 thousands. How many thousands do we have? Well, we don't have 8. We've got 9. Okay, we carried 1 over. So 9 plus something equals 10. The answer is 1. And we have reached the answer we're looking for. 1,960. Two. It really is quite simple. Just make sure you follow the principle through. So that is subtraction of number bonds to 10,000.